Hello, sweet friends. Welcome back. Thank you for stopping by. I'm all over the place. Um, that's how my brain works. Um, I was organizing. Now I have a chaos. And the reason is because I started to play <laughs> and I forgot what I was doing. Um, let me show you what um, I've been playing with. So first, I um, was organizing a box that I have for... Um, I labeled it um, party and napkins and ribbons. So I was condensing in one of those huge boxes from Ikea, the stuff. And I looked at it and I'm like, oh my God, this is normally collaged is what I love. So I'm like, I love this. I need to start using the stuff that I have. Um, from there, this whole chaos started. So. Um, this is the napkin. Um, I do not, I think I got it at, um, Tuesday morning. Um, so it's been a while and that's, I don't know if you can appreciate how beautiful it is. Um, okay. Sorry if you hear my little fan in my corner. It normally is hot and, um. I have a tiny little thing going on and so what happened was I have these nice paper clips that I bought in Amazon so when I, that's when I'm doing my watercolor paintings or anything like that but then I have these binder clips that are not to me they're not attractive they're not pretty right they're just plain black and that napkin was the inspiration for me to decorate my jumbo, I guess you can call them binder clips. So I, what I did was I wanted to make sure that the design was facing wherever you're pinching, you know, like that, that, that is facing. Whatever design you use, make sure that it's facing so it was what it was a little bit of a challenge and then the same thing here and then the same thing on the other side but as you can see i tried i'll be honest i tried to put it um with my matte medium i tried to put it on the plain black but it disappeared the image disappeared so when i was doing the jelly plate backgrounds i had i ended up with these and so i what i did was that i used the design and then i do the matte medium on it and then from here i glued it on the binder but just make sure that whatever design you want is facing you see what i'm saying so when you clip on it that this design the design that you love is facing you so truly the design that i love even though i love the stamped and um but my favorite is right here the bird's nest so i wanted to make sure that the bird nest was not like that because to me and my brain no the eggs are going to fall off the nest see what i'm saying so i wanted to make sure that it was this way um and then that one doesn't have any eggs in it and that so to glue it down on the paper and to put it on the binder clip i use the matte medium just one i get these at walmart and it works really good and as you can see it's not even sticky or anything like that and then i did a tiny one with the the yellow flowers I'm not good with flower names, but I don't know if you can see that. But that's what I did with the tiny one. So there you go. Then from here, I went and took one of my Manila uh, folder. Remember that I showed you on the previous video that I used the scraps and did my own tag so i did 
that and I'm waiting it's still a little bit waiting for it to dry I might need to back it up with a thicker I don't know the manila folders that they're making nowadays are not strong enough back in 81 when I graduated from high school um, these manila folders were really really hard and strong and they will last you forever this is really flimsy as you can see it's flimsy and i don't like it so i'm just gonna go ahead and back it back it maybe with watercolor i don't know what i'm still gonna do but yeah i still have to wait for it to dry and then i'll go ahead and cut the excess napkins now if you have any questions how um to play with napkins what i learned this from i think it was carrie the crafter c-e-r-i the crafter and what he does is that he used tape you don't need a lot just a little bit um let me see i have this one i used this one and i have this one okay so let me show you um it has two layers okay and it would, it would take forever for me to separate it but as you can see this one already came off and it has another layer here just with a little bit of tape all right so just go ahead and do this and then just gently it will come off make sure that that first that layer the white layer is there and then just gently it will come off let's see gently see but it would have taken forever without the tape so this is really easy and then gently peel it off and this is the layer that you play with this one right here okay so take that back put that back there and then okay because it kept on um multiplying and then what i did was i looked for my one inch punch because i have this in my drawer down at underneath the the desk and these are one inch uh, let me read it to you clear epoxy stickers and um, I think it's go go and these are one inch okay and there's 200 in here it's the first time I've used them I buy it I store it away and then all of a sudden I just forget that I did it exist um, but when I was going through my tools, I found that there, I took it out and I said, well, would it be nice for me just to do my own embellishments? And I took the napkin. I did first punch from these scraps. I punched one inch. I did a little bit of glue. I attached my design that i wanted and gently and carefully i placed the epoxy on top and this is from the same napkin see how pretty that is right there that design look at the nest now i went and grabbed one of my backgrounds that i did and what i did was i punched the one inch did a few okay and i these are the solid ones for the napkins and these are my backgrounds for from this okay from the backgrounds one inch 
okay and then i went into my flower stickers and i started to create a little cute design on it of flowers just glue it you know you don't have to even use any glue on this one because the background is already done for you all you have to do is just stick your flowers to it like that carefully remove the epoxy make sure you don't leave any fingerprints on it and then just carefully glue it down like that just there you go so you're creating your own embellishments basically see so just like that I have created embellishments so when you're having fun things multiply <laughs> so from here as you can see now I have this that didn't look kind of cute because these are really old as you can see they got a little bit of the mildew there um, but I just didn't like the look of it and so I decided to decorate my own binder clips I have more I have more okay more to go this I'm pretty sure the tiny one is going to be a challenge but not impossible and I'm just waiting for this to dry then I'll back it back it and with something more it's really flimsy see that I don't like it so you never know I might use one of these you know and put it there and voila and it will make it a little bit stronger okay my friends so yes these these are affordable they're not too expensive i got them through amazon um a long time ago and as you can see my backgrounds are good to the green background is good to just go ahead and put a sticker on it And create your own embellishment and if I continue I will not be doing any cooking or housework so I need to stop leave my mess walk away do some cooking and then come back and continue to play that's how I roll um, there you go my three friends thank you for watching if you like the content, please give it a, a thumbs up, share, subscribe if you haven't. All right. Take care. God bless. Love you guys. Bye.